continuing with our Angry Birds type game, Pissed Off Penguins. Um, and we're just moving along here. Uh, as of right now, this is what we've got. Hit P here to go into game mode. I can hit space bar. And we've limited to three penguins being shot. Uh, they die out after a little bit. We've got blocks getting knocked over here, uh, which we're going to edit here again in a little bit. Um, first things first, let's... Um, yeah, let's uh, let's let's change. Let's give these a texture here. So I'm going to select one of these blocks. Let's select this first one here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to give it a materials. Uh, I'm going to say new material. I'm going to make it shadeless. We really should be making everything shadeless since it's a 2D game. We really don't want the light source to affect stuff, uh, at least in not in most cases. Uh, next, we're going to say here. We're going to give it a texture, new texture. We're going to make it a image. Open. I'm going to go to where I have the images saved. I have one here called Metal One. I'm going to open it, and I'm going to change uh, this from generated to UV. I'll leave that at flat there. And if we go into game mode, you can see it definitely looks different now, but we need to still give it some UV coordinates here. So um, let's go. Let's see what happens if we do UV cube doesn't seem to change anything. Okay. So it's got kind of a gray look to it now, but we want it to look like this metal here, which we might also change in the future. I'm not sure if I'm happy with that one. Let's go to go ahead and go into um, UV edit mode. With that cube there selected, hit tab to go into edit mode. We're going to say U and then unwrap cube from projection, cube projection. So there you go, you can see how it's lining up there. Actually, let's try a different one. Let's go just do from, from view. So there we go, we'll scale that up. And as of right now, you can see the image of the tux there, but well, we're gonna change that. We've imported this item, uh, this image here. In fact, let's go ahead and package that in there so it's embedded into our Blender file. Click here and we will choose that. And now, it doesn't look a whole lot better than before, but it's got a metal texture to it. Once again, we uh, we'll probably uh, do something with that later on. I'm not much of an artist in that aspect, but uh, hopefully I can come up with something better. But for right now, let's just oops, select all these others. And uh, I could apply that texture, but I'm just going to delete those and quickly. It doesn't take long to recreate the little scene we just had. Since it's so simple. There we go. So there we go. Now we have that metal texture there. And we can still shoot them all the same. Boom, boom. One more. Okay. Uh, next, uh, let's uh, work on our little ground plane here. For right now I'm just going to give it a green texture, a uh, green material, and I might uh, once again come up with some 2D art to put over it and texture over it, but um, we've got this here. Let's add a material, or I just added a texture. Let's add a material. Uh, let's uh, make it shadeless and change it to a green grassy like color. Next let's go back to our front view here and with that plane selected in edit mode E to extrude give us just a little bit of a view there like that so now we can actually see the ground that our penguins are landing on uh, although uh, let's see it's marked as shadeless might be the amount that it's sticking out here so let's uh, in edit mode uh, Z to go into wireframe no mode and we will grab on the y-axis, move this stuff in like so. Change this to back to texture mode. There we go. That's better. It was just sticking out past uh, our view here. I would say our camera view, but we're not really in a camera view. And still dark once I start game mode. That's something I'll have to look into. Okay, we'll worry about that later. Uh, and once again, we still have everything working here. Let's uh, hit spacebar 
type in plane, import images plane. I create a simple little 2D background here, make it shadeless, uh, pre-multiply. And we will rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees and then scale it up some. Grab it on the z-axis, move it up some. Once again, very simple for right now. I'm not much of an artist. Uh, so hopefully that's good for right now. Um, And also move it back out of the way, which means we'll also have to make it larger. Let's grab it on the y-axis, move it back here. Go back into our front view. Zoom in here. There we go. Before it was hitting our cubes. Now you notice how far our tux is going. We may have to change that a little bit. So... Uh, they don't seem to be going very far so once again let's uh, choose our empty object here we'll go back to our logic editor and just tweak it a little bit right now we have it set to 10 on the x-axis let's put that up to 15 make them go a little bit further boom there we go boom one more boom okay Let's start working on creating an enemy for our tux to attack. Let's go to third layer here just so we have a clear little, clear little working space. Import plane as image, and we're going to do kind of the same thing. I'm going to choose an image here called bad tux one. I just got this from a Google search, just like the other one. Choose all three of those. I'm going to, in edit mode, extrude it until I see that tux there. Go to face select mode and choose all the faces except for that front one and then in our image view uh, down here we're going to select all scale down really you can just make it as tiny as you want and put it off into the black corner here which is actually our transparent and if we go back into a textured view here we still have the front there okay so at this point, we can now, I don't know why I did him on a different layer. Let's keep him M to move him to the first layer. We are going to add some physics to him. We're going to make him a rigid body with a cube for bound or a box for bounds. Scale him down a little bit. And we'll put him right here on top for right now. Okay, since we scaled him down because of where his center point is, uh, it's looking at a circle around that, so actually let's grab him, move him up, and then in edit mode, grab on the z-axis, move that down so his center point is relatively in his center. And then we can move him back down here. There we go. Now, we're going to want to uh, set it so that when our tux bird our bullet that we're shooting out hits him, he dies. Uh, and obviously we'll add some animation to that later on, but for right now we just want him to go away. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go once again, change this to our logic editor. Let's choose our tux here. Let's give him a property and just call it um, tux. And we're going to say with this tux, let's move this light source. We're going to say if it ever has a collision with something of the property tux, connect that there. We're going to say edit object, end object. So when our tux hit him, hits him, he should just disappear. There we go. And that's all for this little segment. We're going to keep on working on this and hopefully get a better looking game as uh, time goes on. And um, a little more active. You know, we're going to add sounds and music and stuff. So uh, thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Check out the links in the description and check out this game. Uh, the blend files should be available uh, probably in the description of this video. 
Have a great day.